all right dear students i hope you are doing well today the topic that we want to cover is trial balance now what is a trial balance now as you may be aware from your earlier studies that we prepared some t accounts also known as ledger accounts now after preparing all the t accounts with the double entries what we did we balanced off these t accounts and the shorter side was balance carried down and the greater side bigger side was balance brought down balance carried down was a closing balance and balance brought down was the opening balance now once we have balanced all of the t accounts now it's the right time to make a trial balance what is the trial balance trial balance my dear is the list of all the balances of t accounts at a particular date all of the t accounts whether they are of customers or suppliers or any other accounts capital and non current assets and liabilities and so and so on we need to make a list of all those t accounts which is known as a trial balance so trial balance uh, make sure that the double entry is correct and all of the debits have a corresponding credit entry as well okay so what we need to do for the same exercise the question that we covered in the previous lessons this question was it a mr ard question what we need to do we need to make a trial balance for this now as you can see we are going to solve this requirement part a we need to extract a trial balance now first of all we need to put the heading the name of the owner in this case it's my name mr ard then we have the heading trial balance for the year ended 31st december now in a trial balance my dear there are only two sides one is debit and one is credit now uh, you have already studied double entry previously and in the double entry we uh, got to know that three items had a debit nature namely assets expense and drawing ad has a debit nature and lic liability income and capital has a credit nature this means that all of the assets expense and drawing accounts would come on the debit side and the liability income and capital account would always come on a credit side now as you can see these are the t accounts that we made in the previous classes uh, when we were learning about ledger accounts t accounts now as you can see the capital balance bd is on the credit side because capital belongs to lic family and liability income and capital are always credit in nature property is an asset it belongs to aed family and asset has an always has a debit balance then we have peter peter is a supplier whom we, whom we have bought property on credit therefore peter is a liability and now uh, again you can see that the liability balance always comes on the credit side loan is also one of the liabilities and it will also come on the balance bd is on the credit side purchase is basically increasing our stock inventory therefore purchase is debit in nature carriage is it is basically a transportation cost therefore carriage is also on the debit now all of the t accounts we need to uh, pick up all of these balance bds and compile a list of all of these balance bds such as sales then delivery costs all of the balance bds we should compile them in one single place and that place is known as a trial balance capital balance bd is on the credit that is 200000 property is an asset therefore it's coming on the debit side these are all the balance brought downs that i've already extracted previously we need to compile the list of all of these items whether these are asset expense or drawing or liability income or capital we need to make a t account for all of them and we need to balance these t's t accounts and extract balance brought down that is greater side from all of the t accounts return inward is debit in nature because goods are coming into the business disuza is a liability therefore it is a credit balance jimmy was a customer therefore it was it was a debit balance now let me finish all of these and at the end of that we need to balance this trial balance how can we balance the trial balance we just need to add up both of the sides the debit as well as credit 
now as you can see if we have made correct double entry and for every debit entry we have made a corresponding credit entry then the debits and the credits should always be equal and if the debits equal credit we say that a trial balance has been balanced now this was the process to make a trial balance i hope you were able to understand the underlying concepts regarding trial balance